Welcome to another video. Let's solve this fun equation. It's a factorial equation that is also a, I can't say it's a quadratic because I don't know what's going to end up, what, how many terms are going to be in the factorial. So we're going to, just going to call it a factorial equation. And um, it looks pretty easy to me because I can already see what I'm supposed to do in order to get what n is. Um, yeah, let's get into the video. So, considering the fact that we have n minus 1 factorial here, and we have plus 1 here, and you have n squared here, I am already seeing n minus 1 on the left, and I'm seeing n minus 1 also on the right, if I can move this one over to this side. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say that n minus 1 factorial will be equal to n squared minus 1, right? And that means I have n minus 1 here. If I write this as difference of two squares, I'm going to have n minus 1 also on this side. So I got n minus 1 factorial will be equal to n minus 1 times n plus 1. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. Okay. I'm, I expand it one more step. That gives me n minus 1 times n plus 1. So look, I have n minus 1 here. I have n minus 1 here. I can divide both sides by n minus 1. As long as n minus 1 is not equal to 0, that is, n is not equal to 1. So I can actually divide both sides by n minus 1. Because I know n is not equal to 1, because this, that will make this 0. Definitely, look at the original equation. n is not 1, because 1 minus 1 factorial is going to be 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1, which would be 1 plus 1 will be equal to 1 squared. Well, 1 plus 1 is 2, but the right-hand side is just 1. So n is not 1. So I can say, since n is not equal to 1, Otherwise, 2 equals 1. From the original equation, we can divide both sides. Divide both sides by n minus 1, so that what you have left is n minus 2 factorial is equal to n plus 1. So, it looks like we are back to where we started from, but it's much simpler because we don't have any square to do, deal with now. This is what we have. And this makes our life easy because this is not the greatest thing to write. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite n minus 2 as a single um, number. Well, I'm going to say let n minus 2 be equal to r, which implies that n equals r plus 2. So I'm going to rewrite this. Instead of writing n minus 2 factorial on the left, I'm going to say, therefore, this is going to be r factorial will now be equal to n plus 1. But what did we say n is? n equals r plus 2. So this is going to be um, n plus 1. What is it? n is r plus 2, so it's going to be r plus 2 plus 1. Okay, so this is r plus 2 plus 1, which gives me r plus 3. So we have r factorial equals r plus 3. Nice. So it's the same thing I did here, but now at a lower level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this r factorial because I want it to look like what is on the right. So I'm going to have this to be r times r minus 1 factorial will be equal to r plus 3. So what I'm going to do is, ta -da -da -da, I cannot divide now, I have to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this r here and leave the 3 on the right hand side. So I have r into r minus 1 factorial minus r is equal to 3. I can factor out r, so I have r into r minus 1 
factorial minus 1, put in parentheses, minus 1 is equal to 3. Okay, now this is where the math gets beautiful. Okay? Anytime you're dealing with, remember this is an integer, whenever you do a factorial, whatever you're doing, you're going to get an integer, then the product of two integers is always an integer. But beautifully, 3 is a prime number, so this 3 can only be written as 1 times 3 or 3 times 1, right? Yeah. Which one do you think is going to be bigger? I don't want to waste time. Do you think r is bigger than r minus 1 factorial minus 1? It depends on how big r is. Actually, you would expect this to be bigger. So what I'm going to say is, um, let's say this is, let's say r times r minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to, let's call it 3 times 1. Okay, let's just, let's just use this one. It could be 1 times 3. It could be 3 times 1. Okay, um, whichever, we're going to be fine. Or should we do 3 times 1? Oh, okay, let's just go on. It's okay. Now, so let's say r. So this means that we can say r equals 3 and this is equal to 1. Let's solve on that basis and see what we get. If it doesn't work, then we have to switch the two numbers. It will be 1 times 3 and it might work, but let's see. So here we go. If r equals 3, so therefore r equals 3 and r minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay, this looks very promising. If r equals 3, it means this has to be 1. Now let's solve this and see what we're going to get. Here we're going to have r minus 1 factorial. This one moves over here. So we have r minus 1 factorial will be equal to 1 plus 1. That gives us 2. The only number whose factorial is 2 is 2. So that means r minus 1 is equal to 2. Because if a, the factorial of a number is 2, then that number is 2. Only 2 factorial will give you 2. Okay, and that's how I knew that this is 2, and that means that r equals 3. Wow, it is true. What I did is true. If I decide to s flip, and I say it is 1, 3, let's just try that. Suppose r equals 1. If r equals 1, then r minus 1 factorial minus 1 will be equal to 3. Okay, if r equals 1, then r minus 1 factorial minus 1 will be equal to 3. So I've switched these two now. Let's see what happens. r minus 1 factorial equals 4. There is no factorial that is equal to 4. So this is actually not valid. There's no factorial, okay? You have factorials are 1. The next one is 2. The next one is 6. So there is no factorial that's equal to 4. So that's it. So let's go back and get the final answer because remember we're looking for n, we're not looking for r. But what was the substitution? We said n minus 2 is equal to r. Let's get rid of this. So here we got to say that since n equals r plus 2, n must be equal to 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. So n equals 5 is the only solution. Now, we got to check it. I actually didn't check this, okay? Um, let's, let's see. So we put 5 here. 5 minus 1 is, check, 5 minus 1 factorial plus 1 is equal to 5 squared. Let's see. 5 minus 1 is 4 factorial. That's 24. 24 plus 1 is equal to 25. Check. 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 <laughs> Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.